Let's pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. Our story begins with the first scene in chapter 9, 1, 2, 3. The disciples asked Jesus a difficult question that worried many people. And that continues to concern many people right now. Are diseases a God's punishment for our sins? Can they be punishment for the sins of our parents? Jesus' answer is, Neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind so that God's works might be revealed in him. This means that illnesses cannot be related necessarily to the personal sin of the sufferer or the faults of the parents. Jesus affirms that this disease will result in God's works will be manifested or showed in the blind man. Experience tells us that many times we suffer the consequences of our bad decisions or someone else bad decisions. For example, if I am used to driving my car more than 70 miles per hour on the highways of Wisconsin, the probability that I have an accident or that I could cause an accident to someone else is high. But if a meteorite falls on an island tomorrow, that not means that the inhabitants of the island have necessarily sinned against God. Jesus has said that many diseases and trials are not due to sin, but for God to manifest or show himself in false problems. In this pandemic, uh, that humanity is experiencing. We can learn as humanity positive things. The value of sol solidarity, compassion, valuing our health, valuing that God has given us, remembering that life is very fragile, Recognizing that human beings and our progress, progress are very vulnerable. To learn to take care of nature and much more. To stop over exploiting the nature. But above all, God is going to manifest or to show himself during this pandemic. God is going to bless you, to bless you. Please believe on that. The blind man did not ask Jesus for anything. Just at the beginning, the Samaritan woman had not asked Jesus for anything. But Jesus took the initiative. Jesus then spat on the ground and made mud with the saliva and spread the mud on the man's eyes. Now, in these times of coronavirus, this sounds terrible for to us, but this was considered somewhat medicinal at that time. Please don't do it in these times, please. Jesus asked the blind man to go to the pool of Siloam to wash. Siloam means the sand, and Jesus himself is the sand. The sand. This means that we can only be washed, cleaned, and restored in Jesus. 
the blind man went to the pool of Siloam, washed and came back seen. This reminds me of when God healed Naaman, Naaman from his leprosy. If we want to be cleansed from our sins, we must allow being washed in the blood of Jesus. By the way, we must remember that Jesus healed other blind people with just his word without the use of mud. And here Jesus heals this blind man differently. We cannot expect Jesus to act on people the same way always. God has his own ways. Please remember that God has his own ways. And they are not always the same. And they are not always the same. It's incredible how human selfishness is. Nobody, nobody, oh, it's incredible. Nobody rejoices for the one who had been blind. No, instead of enjoying with him, his neighbors question him about how he received his sight. The one who had been blind tells their testimony. When the people ask him where Jesus is, he does not know. The former blind man had not tried to find Jesus. Was Jesus who looked for him? Was Jesus who had taken the initiative as he did with the Samaritan woman whose ends the first sin? Yes. The second sin begins with the first interrogation of the Pharisees to the former blind man. It was Sabbath, the day Jesus made mud and returned the sight. For the Pharisees, Jesus has committed two, two, two infractions, healing a person on Sabbath, Sabbath and making mud on the holy day. I repeat, I repeat, for the Pharisees, in the interpretation of the law for Pharisees, Jesus has committed two infractions, healing a person on Shabbat and making mud on the holy day. Then there was disagreement among the Pharisees. According to the strictest, Jesus cannot come from God because Jesus, according to their interpretations, he is not strictly keeping the Sabbath. Still others wonder how a sinner can perform such signs. Then they ask the blind, the blind man, about his opinion. The man clearly states that in his opinion, it's very interesting, has in his opinion, Jesus is a prophet, is a prophet. Does not it remind you of the courage of the Samaritan woman when she claims that Jesus is the Messiah? Yes, it does remember me. The third scene begins. Now there is the second interrogation now by the Jews. The parents of the blind man were evasive in responding because they were afraid. How sad that the religious leaders, instead of rejoicing with them, are so horrible with the man who had been blind and his family. They are so vile. They are so vile. We are moving on the fourth scene. Now it is the second interrogation by the Pharisees of the man who had been healed by Jesus. Yes, you heard correctly the second scrutiny. Yes, the second. This is a brilliant, a brilliant written scene. Funny. Yes, it's funny. 
It's so funny. Comical. Full of irony. Full of irony. Masterly. Masterly. The Pharisees are very confused. They say to the men. They say to the men. Give the glory to God. We know that this man, Jesus, is a sinner. The man provides them a fantastic answer. Wow! <laughs> it's a fantastic answer. I don't know whether he is a sinner. One thing I do know, that I thought I was blind. I was blind. Now, I see. Wow! Fantastic! <laughs> One thing I, I do know that I thought I was blind. Now, now, now I see. This is a heart. This is a, a heart thought. The Pharisees try to get the man entangled, but he responds with a wonderful irony. He answered them, I have told you already and you would not listen. Mm. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you also want to become his disciples? Do you also want to become his disciples? Is this not an ironic and comic response? What do you think? What do you think? Yes! Please write in the comments, please. This provokes the anger response from the Pharisees. You are disciples of that man, but we are disciples of Moses. The insults directed at the man are in fact directed against Jesus. Let us remember that in chapter 8 of John, the scribes and the Pharisees have said that they are children of Abraham. The Pharisees add, we know that God has spoken to Moses. But as for this man, we don't know where he comes from. This man, representing simple people, now responds in formidable and brilliant way. He, here, is an astonishing thing. You don't know where he comes from, and yet he opened my eyes. We know that God, that God does not listen to sinners, but he does listen to one who worships him and obeys his will. Never since the world began has it been hard that anyone opened the eyes of a person born blind. If this man were not from God, he could do nothing. Oh, hallelujah. Can you repeat with me? Please, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yes. The former blind, the former blind, is a very similar to the Samaritan woman. They are people who understand very, very quickly, very receptive or sensitive to God's presence. They are so sensitive. Yes, Jacob Miller, hallelujah, Angie, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, I like that word. Mike Storch. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah means praise to God. It is the means of hallelujah. It's praise to God. Uh, uh, yes, they, they were very receptive, very sensitive to God's presence. I know, uh, maybe you, you know persons who are very sensitive to God's presence. Uh, this man was very sensitive, who connects the thoughts very quickly. Very rapidly, the Bible says, they answer him, you were born entirely in sins. And are you trying to teach us? And they drove him out. Oh, mm. oh no. 
Bad decisions for the Pharisees. The Pharisees are furious. I just wonder, I just wonder, if they don't want his answers, so why they are asking him? So the Pharisees drove him out of the community. Finally, we have the epilogue. Epilogue. Jesus has heard that the man has been expelled and is looking for him again. Jesus said unto him, Do you believe in the Son of Man? Beloved people that you are in this transmission, Jesus is asking you also, Do you believe in the Son of Man? Yes or no? Do you believe in the Son of Man? This is a sincere and frank man. Beloved people, I am asking you, do you believe in the Son of Man? Also, Nicolette Clark wrote, uh, wrote, sorry, Hallelujah. This is a sincere and frank man. Responds to Jesus. Who is he, Lord? that I may believe on him. And Jesus said unto him, you have seen him. And the one speaking with you, with you is he. And the one speaking with you is he. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. That day, this man had a very busy day. Yes. He was probably waiting for a day to the previous, the previous one. Equal to the previous, the same to the previous. But Jesus changed his entire routine. Yes, Marla. Yes, I believe with my whole heart. Hallelujah. Jacob Miller. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Jesus changed his entire routine. On that day, Jesus slapped his eyes with mouth. He obeyed Jesus and went to Siloam to wash and was healed. He was able to see. That day he was questioned by the leaders several times. Wow, several times. He was expelled from the community for saying that Jesus is a prophet. That day Jesus searches for him again. He comes to believe that Jesus is the son of man. And finally... He worshipped him because Jesus is also the son of, of God. Wow, what a busy day. Angie responds, yes, I believe in the son of man. Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. Hallelujah. Thank you, Angie. I believe the same. Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. And there is, it's very interesting also these beloved people. Please. It's very interesting. The Bible, uh, Jesus asked to the uh, former blind if he believes that he is the son of man. And uh, he accepts that he is the son of man. But also one important thing. He, the former man, worshipped Jesus. Worshipped Jesus because Jesus is also the son of God. Yes, Jesus is the son of man, but Jesus also is the son of God. He is divine. Please let me know, do you believe that Jesus also is the son of God? Let me know. You, many of you responded that you believe that Jesus is the son of man. I am asking you now, do you believe that Jesus is the son of God? That does mean that Jesus Christ is divine, that Jesus Christ is God also. Let me know. Do you believe also uh, that Jesus is God? He who had been expelled is very interesting. He, the former man 
who had been expelled find in Jesus his place of worship? And you respond, yes. Jacob responds, yes, I believe. Uh, and Nicolette also, yes, amen, alleluia. He who had been expelled finds in Jesus his place of worship. Beloved people, Mike Storch, yes, I believe also. Sharon Engel, yes, alleluia. He who had been expelled finds in Jesus his place of worship. Wherever, wherever Jesus is, wherever Jesus is, there is our place of worship. I repeat, I repeat, wherever Jesus is, there is our place of worship. I repeat, wherever Jesus is, there is our place of worship. Like you, like you, I am also sad. I am also sad. I am also sad. I know that many persons right now are also sad that we are not worsh worshiping God in our churches. In person, we too. Uh, Jerry responds, yes, we believe, hallelujah. I am also that we are not worshiping God in person with you for a while. Yes, it's true. I prefer to worship you in person. Yes, I, I also, I, um, I know that the, the most of people prefer to having the worship in person. I know, I prefer that. But you know the circumstances. For now, it is not possible, it is not uh, allowed. But the most... The most important thing is that wherever Jesus is, we can worship him. Wherever Jesus is, we can worship him. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Jesus is connecting us. Jesus is connecting us. Jesus is connecting us. You can worship Jesus wherever you are following this transmission. Marilyn is responding, yes, we believe. Vivana, yes. Jesus is here. Jesus is connecting us. You can worship Jesus wherever you are following this transmission. Maybe you are in your home right now. So that your home or maybe your office or maybe your office is the place of worship that God has provided us for and now, for a while. Hallelujah! We can worship God in, in our homes, in our, in our uh, offices. Hallelujah! The men, the men, these former men, worship Jesus. So you can do the same wherever where you are because Jesus is with you right now. Beloved people, I am trying to, to see to the camera. Jesus is with you right now. Please believe in that. Jesus is with you right now. You are not alone. Please don't be afraid. Jesus is with you right now. And please remember to have faith. In these moments in which we must follow the instructions for the health authorities, in which we must keep distance in socializing, God's works might be revealed in you. Yes, in us. Let us try to spend more time praying. We have more time now in our homes. We can spend more time praying. Reading the Bible, we can read the Bible more time and spending time with the people who are in our homes, with your uh, wife, your uh, children, with your kids. Uh, uh, also, why not? Uh, I know, you know, I love my, my dog and my cat. You can spend my more time with your uh, domestic animals in your homes. Uh, you can still do calls to others who are more isolated, who are experiencing sadness, why 
not you will call them today. Yes, I am asking you, why not you uh, try to call them today? I am inviting to you to do that. Please, uh, it's very important uh, to be connected and be supported. You can still do calls to others who are more isolated, who are experiencing sadness. Why not you will call them today? Yes. Why not you will call them today? Please, let's pray. Lord, I ask you to bless whoever is following this transmission. Please bless our world in these current moments. We ask you to open our eyes of faith. Help us believe in you. Heal our disbelief. Help us not to be sad and to have positive attitudes. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ who returns our sight. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen.